Hi students, uh, now let's see the difference between the Thomas Law's algorithm and the scoreboard. So in the previous videos, I explained what exactly the Thomas Law's algorithm and the scoreboard is with an examples. Now let's have uh, a common difference. So the Thomas Law's algorithm here, the reservation stations, whatever the reservation stations, the controls and the buffers, generally you call it as a, the control and buffers. That is the reservation stations distributed with functional units is going to distributed distributed with functional units only the reservation station but in the scoreboard you don't have that reservation station so here the control and buffers whatever the control and buffers uh, are uh, centralized those are centralized in the scoreboard technique but in thomas law's algorithm the control and buffers are distributed with the functional unit and in thomas law's algorithm Registers in instructions replaced by pointers. Let me write. Registers in instructions replaced replaced by pointers to reservation station buffer. To reservation station buffer. So here we are using the renaming technique. The registers in instructions replaced by pointers to reservation station buffer. A renaming technique will be used in the Thomas Law's algorithm. But whereas in the scoreboard, it uses the actual registers only. It doesn't try to rename the registers. It is trying to use the actual registers in the source operands and the destination operands and everything we are taking and the QJ and QK it holding whether the values available or not. It is a centralized control and buffers. And the flag registers are used RJ and RK whether the value is present or not okay and here uh, this thomas law's algorithm hardware remaining of register remaining registers to avoid to avoid write after read and write after write hazards it is trying to avoid write after read and write after write hazards and whereas a scoreboard do not issue it's do not issue if structural or write after write hazards it's do not issue if structural or write after write hazards that is it wait for the write after it wait for right after right hazards so this is another difference and here the hardware remaining okay so let me write this is the thomas laws and this is the scoreboarding scoreboard scoreboard okay and here we are using the common data bus a common data bus a broadcast result broadcast results to functional units the thomas law whatever the co common data bus is there it broadcasts the results to the functional unit it is again sending back to the functional unit so that the remaining units again take that data and try to uh, work it on and here in the scoreboarding we are using the forwarding technique so one after the another forwarding technique whenever the previous instruction completes its uh, read operands then only the next instruction will take that operands okay and another point here uh, in the thomas law's algorithm the load and stores treated as the loads and uh, stores treated as functional units as well that means here we are totally we are using the stages like issue execution and write result right results so total three stages will be there in thomas law's algorithm whereas in the scoreboarding the stages are issue read operands read operands execution and write results so this is a main difference between the scoreboarding and the uh, Thomas Law's algorithm. Okay, so whenever you are talking about like uh, the whenever talking about like uh, the sizes, what exactly the sizes or uh, 
uh, like the window size if you talk about the window size uh, the window size of the scoreboard is let me write the window size the window size of the uh, thomas laws is less than or equal to 14 instructions this is a general thing the window size of thomas law is for less than 14 instructions and whereas the window size of the scoreboard is window size of the scoreboard is less than or equal to five instructions only okay and coming to the structural hazards thomas law is not having any no issues in the structural hazards in the scoreboard also is not having no any issues in the structural hazards because of the data dependency and what dependency uh, w, that is right after read dependency stall completion right after read dependency whatever the, i talked just now right after re, read dependency this remaining avoids sorry renaming avoids sorry it is trying to renaming is trying to avoid this right after read dependency is avoid by renaming then here in the scoreboard right after read dependency right after read dependency can be avoided by stall completion stall completion in the same way right after write also the right after write dependency is also re by renaming avoidance renaming avoidance and right after write dependency in scoreboard is also stall completion and coming to the results forwarding results forwarding so the results forwarding here in the thomas laws algorithm is broadcast from functional unit whatever i said cbd broadcast results function that is what i am saying here so the cbd broadcast results to functional unit whereas here in the scoreboarding the results forwarding is of write or read registers okay and finally the control structure okay whatever the control structure here we are using in the thomas laws is distributed reservation station the control structure is distributed reservation station so whereas in the scoreboard the control structure used is central scoreboard so that's why we call it as a cr central scoreboard so the control structure of scoreboard we are using is a control structure of the scoreboard is central scoreboard whereas the thomas law algorithm we are using the distributed reservation station so these are the main difference between the thomas laws and the scoreboard thank you